Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to our morning message. We greet you in the name of our risen Lord and Savior as we celebrate Easter sheltered in place. This is different for many of us, but we thank God for the opportunity to be able to share his word and thank God that things are well with most of us. I want to encourage us to continue to pray for our church, pray for our community and for our country, and especially pray for those who have loved ones that have been affected by the COVID-19 virus. I want to go to God in prayer. And after doing so, we will go to our morning message. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come before your throne to say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for the blessings of life. And thank you that your mercies are new every morning. We thank you for Jesus Christ who died for our sins. And as we celebrate his resurrection from the grave, we thank you that you loved us so much that you gave your only son. We pray now and ask for your blessings upon our country, upon our community and our church. We pray for those who are on the front lines of treating uh, COVID-19, for our first responders, law enforcement, doctors, nurses, and medical personnel all over this land and country. I pray, dear God, that you would bless this message and that those who hear would be blessed as well. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning, I would like to call our attention to the gospel as it is recorded by St. Luke chapter 24, verses one through eight. I'm reading from the King James Version of the Bible, and it reads, Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying the son of man must be delivered into the hand of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. This morning, I wanna talk about resurrection power. Resurrection power, as we celebrate Easter, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we realize that it is a day of good news. Had it not been for the resurrection, and if it was not for the resurrection, there would be no good news. We have, and we are aware of, and we know the ministry of Jesus and his teachings that his temple would be torn down, but he would raise it again on the third day morning. He had shared with his disciples in the upper room that he was going away. He had been betrayed by Judas. He had been in court before Pilate. He was crucified and he utters from the cross, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? And on this morning where our text is found, there are those who are coming to the tomb to properly prepare his body for burial, but they find that his body is no longer there. We thank God for the resurrection and in the resurrection is displayed some aspect of power that I would like to talk about this morning. The power of the resurrection is almighty power. 
The stone is rolled away. The body of Christ is gone. And we live in a time of power, great power. Power of knowledge, power of knowledge, power of scientific breakthroughs, powerful planes, trains, automobiles, but there is no power like resurrection power. Resurrection power is the greatest power of all. It is the power to restore life. This power was demonstrated in Jesus Christ who said that he laid down his life. No man take his life. He was laying it down so that he would pick it up again. This power is demonstrated in God our Father who seals us unto the day of redemption. This power is demonstrated in the person and the power of the Holy Spirit that we have in our lives that help us live a life that is pleasing to God and Jesus Christ. The power of the resurrection is power that comes from God. It is almighty power. Not only is it almighty power, it is amazing power. It has the power to save those who are lost. It has the power to give us hope. And without the resurrection, there is no hope. Christ saves and he has the power to save because he was perfect in every way. And we needed that perfection in order to be saved. His death paid for us to be saved and his resurrection gives us the power that is needed to be saved. The angels asked the ladies in this text, why seek ye the living among the dead? We can find faith and we can find life in Jesus Christ. Yes, it is almighty power. It is amazing power and it is available power. Power is worthless unless it is available. Power plants must be wired and they, and they must be wired to homes and to factories. And that power has to be transmitted in order for it to be used. God has made the resurrection power available to all of us. And as we go through this time of trial, this time of being sheltered in place, this time of crisis, we need to know and we are assured that God's power through the risen Christ is available to us today. Trust him, believe him, and obey him. Resurrection power is in our grasp. May God bless you and may God keep you is our prayer.